Hm. Another ogre, what the hell? The young Kratos. Oh shit. 
That was your plan! You're both cracked! We are leaving this realm. Now! As long as we didn't ride our way back. What? One more time. Is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Good. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace, unity, hope. Other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? Tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya. The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Hey, tell me Balder's vulnerability. 
Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely. I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, or back when I figured out Baldur's weakness. I'm here. Yes, lad. You just said you figured out Baldur's weakness. Did I? But Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. <sighs> Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Yeah, I was hungry. No. <laughs> The dwarf. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo -gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth. Is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> 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 well, don't just stand there. Hey, let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Made by those two little dolls. No, oh, quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. The yeah, price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, the food's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Now that we've got the key, we can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Here's Rune. This is it. We're inside! But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. What the hell? Father, look up there. Where? Eh. Yeah. Okay. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Oh, right next to the Jotunheim door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Oh, it's behind there. Well. One inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever it here did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy. This is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. You wanna flip it? Go ahead. It's moving. What's moving? Everything. <laughs> Damn, it's fucking strong, though. Oh my god. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <laughs> we can flip the temple. Okay. Right. What now? Oh my god. Okay. I don't think they're attacking. Boy, on the statues. I see them. It says void. Hmm. Ominous. Go on. Read. Before the first, after the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we flip the temple. The logic is unassailable.
If you mean to break those chains, I'm afraid you'll need to go see to it personally. Oh, fine. Okay, let's go. Sure, what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms? I'm curious, of course, but it's a leap to imagine it gets us to your night. I don't mind the leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tear are the same kind of mad. Oh, I hate Again this. With the death traps. Oh my god, can't believe this. Oh, that bike, man. Gago. Oh, na ko. Okay, let's try that again one more time. Where? What? Okay. I had a thought, brother. Why don't you let the lad carry me for a while? I can't let you miss this. No. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Hmm. I didn't know that. Am I gonna die? Oh my gosh. Ah, too late. Oh, what the?
Did it work? To do what you do, brother. Leave them in peace. Obviously not referring to us. Wait. Kim nan patay ka pa lang ah. Ni nanatoyan. 
Not that man at the end. Chain waits. Another one here. It says his name is Bergomir. I think Mother said he was the king of the giants. Aye, that he was. And quite a bit more. Looks like he had a lot of kids. That, little brother, is what we call an understatement. He's dead, but nobody killed him. Do giants die from old age? They may, though it's rare among the legends. Wrong way, what the hell? Or, yeah, it is. Come <laughs> on. 
Gago. Ay, okay na na nagsublima nyan ba? Oh shit, wrong one. Ooh, hurry up na lang. <laughs> Gago. I truly do hate this part. I know. What? Oh, okay. Oh.
I, for one, never doubted. Here too. You want to go? Until gods grow good. Could be quite a wait. Nah. They're just waiting for us. Again. This one again. What the hell? saying flip the temple it's starting <laughs> to sound normal let's flip the temple <laughs> hurry up putang ina mo bagal mo eh gago ah, why are we here again ito na Go. Right. 
brothers, I know what I promised. But in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path. Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just try to be helpful. Oh, shit. Whoa. I'll be quite happy to be on yours. See that, Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Odenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad's found his equilibrium. What's that mean? You speak wisely, Atreus, and that is good to hear. Ha! I guess the temple was made to be flipped. Look, the tree's upside down. Or <laughs> are we? I'm not sure anymore. The Blackstone. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great are Dumbles at us. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this in the panel at Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. Jotunheim. So you're saying Tyr Shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the World Tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret path to Jotunheim, that's what we need to do? I am. Oh dear. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Oh, thank you again. alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If you're smart, you'll find him. Something else we can do for you? Nah, no, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah, well, I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. The work it is. The hell are these? This one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Aris.
Meh. 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 Just armor. No. Oh. And there's quality material. Great, you're going. My last a day. Oh, what? Should sell some stuff already to upgrade all my shit. Enchantment. I don't care about this anymore. 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 Okay, what else to sell? Huh? Nope. What the hell? Rips up the dust. Whatever. No. Let's grade it. I'm sure you're winning smiles, armor enough. But why take chances? And that. What? <laughs> no. Get back in the wall, no. Okay, cool, Payan. Lana. Yeah. Hey, you're so... Know what? That's it. Always yeah. oh, a pleasure. Now fuck right along. <laughs> More than okay with not throwing ourselves over the edge of the We're world back. tree just yet. In due time, boy. Ah, really? Where are we going again? That's not it. Where are we going?
Where are we going? If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find your own path, right? Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith, Head. Head. Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening. Is it moving? It's moving. It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. it smells like me fall. Oh, no, this yeah. is considerably worse. What?
do you think it's taking us next? I do not know. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Focus up, boy! <laughs> Hell no. So we're done. Look, we're back in Midgar. There's the bridge. We did it. The tower's back where it belongs. Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. If I trust an outsider with it, even Tia tells you just how desperate they were. Oh, look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. There's the serpent. It's as if they've been made into a memorial to the Valkyries. The serpent, so huge, really huge. I don't think we should disturb Yoman Gander without some reason. <laughs> You 
fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. No, it's back. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Fear must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. You've got eyes like him, Mimir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot, but for years I'd see Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, spit it he out. He wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> Come on, <laughs> spit it out. Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Call him. <laughs> we better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. <sighs> well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. A good time to make sure you once more to the horn. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. <laughs> by the by, he's not wild about it either. Yeah. <sighs> so 
so are we really doing this? Letting the serpent swallow us? You do not have to come. Well, I'm not gonna miss this. <laughs> I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in the giant's belly either. How about you, father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Yuck. Funny. I used to dream about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing. I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Yuck. Oh my gosh. Smells not as bad as I thought it'd be. Bit like heather ale fermenting. Rather pleasant, actually. You're so weird. <sighs> the water kind of burns in here. That is what, isn't it? Aye. Don't stop it. No, it's not like I can still see through it. That's an eye. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. 
You have two eyes now. Hi, <laughs> <I> Gago. <laughs> Ano ang kinakain tong ano, serpent na to? Lalaok. Ew. Acid. How's it feel, Mimir? Well, I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally, we're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term tempting feet? So how do we get back out? We signal. Oh god, what's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. the hell? Boy? Boy? I'm good. I think I'm getting kind of used to this. What happened to him? Something we did? No. Something else. A dead giant. Why would the serpent leave us here? Look! It's her! Freya, we can still trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent? What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home. I'm looking for my son. The two of you. You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Not even. Why are you standing so far from me? You're a liar. What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea? Any idea at all? What you have cost me. My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, 
How I feel? How I feel? <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. Again. This again. Go ahead. You have to go. Please. No. I can reach you. Stop fighting. No. You might want to turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop. No. no. Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> yes! What is this? <sighs> I can feel this. <sighs> Everything. Oh, no! <laughs> He's vulnerable now. Oh, no! oh, no! oh my God. Yeah. No. Do you hear the wind? We are moving. That arrow? Vulgar Bunch, the mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. The mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! Now touch it! This will all be over soon! More! 
More, show me more! <laughs> <laughs> I feel! I feel! Freeze! Stop hurting my boy! Now he's fire? Your eyes again? What the hell? Now his eyes. Ooh. Oh! You will Crystal. Oh. Oh. Atreus! Atreus! I'm up here! I'm okay! And I'm doing wonderful! I've never felt so alive! Tired and I? Stop what it. the hell? Oh, my God. 
Wow. What the hell? Your eyes again?
No! Still gonna hit him? Stop interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa- I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness, we can build something new. <laughs> But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right, I won't stop. Sweet boy! 
Freya. He chose this. I will rain down every agony, every violation imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. Everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy, listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. Hmm. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. I don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Baldur say we cost him? Thornton must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Vanya magic is powerful. But its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. Oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Baldur was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. So... Why was Tyr helping Odin meet with the giant kings? Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a terror, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best through peace. He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, 
a super weapon in hands they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. That alchemist were needed finding? Well, whatever. Here we go! I can't believe we're gonna see the giants! Well, if things work according to the plan, <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. The this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! <laughs> now, boy! Please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> Oh, no. No, 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 no. Ugh. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Oh, 
empty. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. Huh, who's the Guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. 
This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Baldur was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Baldur. Wow. Look. It's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. The giant They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. 
My name on the wall. The giants called me Loki. 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 That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. I want to see it one more time. Come look at this. I guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Be with her kind? But did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I... do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So, why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. And we missed it.
understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupted Valkyries out there that could be set free. Some other help people. Maybe helping people is part of why Mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Lemire? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Just any winter, but a great winter to span three summers. When it's done, I know who it is. Redrock from snow. Aye, snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I can feel it in my throat. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of these guys? Just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my throat. Y yeah. We... we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also, to not die. Or, if you're not heading home, same advice. the unity stuff, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important 
that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you.
Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. done here. was next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. serpent tell you when you spoke kind of sounded important i'm sure it's nothing he just said the boy seemed familiar to him me that's impossible don't i quite agree unless perhaps he refers to something yet to be it is said that when jormungandr and thor battle at ragnarok their clash so violently shakes the tree of life that it splinters casting the serpent backward through time even before his own birth what that is madness well, I did say not to concern yourself.
boy. Yes, sir. Okay, that's going in the journal. <laughs> 